All right, so we're closing out the series. Two guys and a mower. I just went out, did a little bit of work today. Got everything all squared away to finish up for the week. Uh, wanted to use my zero turn to get things, you know, lubricated. Check the tires, check the blades. Spindles are good. Everything's good to go. And so if I had any problems, I would have a chance to fix it before the news series begins Monday. A guy and his zero. This vlog right now today is pretty much going to give you the final numbers for like quantities. Some final thoughts, things that I've learned through these two weeks using just the push mower, the brand that I used, some advice to some of you new guys that are thinking about growing your business, um, maxing it out, taking it to the next level, uh, a few options for you guys to think about, and uh, we just close it all down. I'm chill this weekend, so my comments um, are going to be a little bit slow to reply, but I'll be reading them here and there, but I'm really just unplugged and just relaxing, catching my breath getting ready for an awesome new series coming up this Monday. So please, if you haven't subscribed, do so now so you don't miss it because we're going to compare every day now uh, with the next level equipment. Help you make a decision. Should you hire somebody or should you invest into a larger mower? So I think that's going to be some good information. We'll just take it from there. We're going to take it day by day. We're going to put up our vlogs every night or at least by the next morning. Give you guys some, some food for thought. A total of 94 lawns were serviced in the nine episodes of mowing, with one of the episodes being Q&A and review, Old Boy Was Out Doing 10. So that's 94 yards serviced with the 21 inch push mower in nine days, nine, nine working days. Of that, 84 yards were done in eight episodes. That basically is uh, about the most that the business can, can do with that mower because there's no room for error. There is no room for rain. There's no room for breakdown. I mean, you go two yards uh, short on a day, you know, you're talking 94 yards in nine episodes. Um, that's over 10 yards a day. Well, a push mower, just a push mower, that's every day. Okay, 10 yards today, okay. Maybe 10 yards tomorrow, okay. But in a realistic way of thinking, you can't plan a business, you know, with, with you know, I'm talking now good size yards. I'm not talking a little teeny ones like old boy did. 10 good size yards a day, there's no room for error. There's no room for rain. There's no room for a doctor's appointment. There's no room for, um, you know, one of the guys not showing up. There's just no room for error. And there's no room for growth. And there's no room for side jobs. And so you really put your business in a, in a, a stagnation, I guess you could call it. Uh, um, you're just not gonna move. So once you max out your business, now that's not a bad thing, I'm just saying that's it. And if that's all you want, that's all you you know are looking for, perfect. Um, I am not judging either way. But if you wanna you know, continue to grow the business and get bigger, uh, possibly make more money, you would hope, um, then there's other options that you need to start considering. And so that's where the next video series is gonna come in to help you start considering. It, uh, it's not a competition. I, I'm gonna say that again. I don't want anybody saying that it's, you know, this one way is better than the other. It's, it's, it all is up to you and your individual needs and your individual expectations and what you want out of your business. Uh, again, some people might be part-timers and they wanna know how, you know, what can I really do here? What, what type of money can I make? Well, um, I just showed you. Uh, I pushed it, I pushed it to the limit. You saw the size yards we were cutting. You saw, you know, the thickness of the grass. You can see everything, you know, bushes getting trimmed. And you could see that we pushed it. I mean, we were pushing 10 yards a day, every day. Um, pretty, you know, and I mean, that's that's running pretty ragged now. And that's, that's something to think about, you know. Um, you got your information now. You can go and you can grow at that. The amount of money isn't as important as the quantity of lawn and size of lawn because the markets vary. So, you know, I could sit there and say, yeah, the business made four grand in two weeks with a push mower. Well, your business might make 10 grand in two weeks with a push mower if the market can bear it. You know, your business might make a thousand in two weeks with the push mower if the market is only bearing it. So that's something that you guys have to, you know, realize on your own. 40 50 dollar yards in this area how many was i able to do i was able to do about 10 
uh, 10 a day basically is what we were able to do with me mowing all the time and oh boy we needing an edging that's about it that about maxed out the business uh, I mean I don't think I could really ask for much more out of this mower my tripods banging on my back window that drives me batty but I'm stopping up here I'm gonna get gas uh, so I read a lot of y'all's comments being extremely appreciative of this series because you guys are out here one man mowing it um, or just pushing it like me um, many of you guys have the TB360 that I'm reading uh, a lot of you guys have uh, the same model that Greg was using from geek to freak uh, so I mean that's pretty freaking awesome now I don't know um, taking it to the next level I don't know how much more could be accomplished with a commercial 20 inch uh, such as a snapper a Honda um, the um, X mark 21 I believe it's called um, I don't know I don't know if that six or seven hundred dollar or eight hundred dollar investment or in some cases uh, I think the X mark 21 is like eleven or twelve hundred bucks um, with the Kawasaki motor I don't know how much difference it would make if you would be able to do more than 10 yards in a day I don't know um, longevity yeah if you're looking to, to max out your days with a push mower <clears throat> and do what I did and try to do it for an entire season of course you start out with what you have to start out with but I would highly 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 recommend if you can't you know if you can't or you won't or you don't want to go to something bigger um, I would highly recommend you set yourself up uh, for a commercial mower a commercial 21 um, that's gonna make it so not a commercial 21 I'm sorry that that would be an X mark 21 a commercial 20 inch 21 inch 22 inch uh, something with you know I don't want to say a better motor because I don't have an issue with with this Briggs and Stratton motor I've, I've never had issues with Briggs and Stratton um, the only issue that I have is you know the deck is thin um, the belts wear out a little bit quicker than I would like you know this is a homeowner's mower this, this TB360 is a homeowner's mower and what we just did 94 yards that's 94 cycles you know how many times or how many years go by or seasons go by before a homeowner is going to get 94 cuts out of a of their little lawnmower that's sitting in their shed that they might do their yard once every two or three weeks I mean whoa three four years did I just put three or four years of use in two weeks so you know that's all stuff that you have to consider and um, you know be prepared for so if you're using a TB something a Troy built mower you know and I'm not knocking them in any way shape or form they're great little machines and they'll get your foot in the door and that's again that's what this series was about it was showing you that and you get your foot in the door you do your thing and you know now you need to start thinking about the next level as your business is getting busier as your mower starting to maybe break down you might have deck issues like me <laughs> I had deck issues um, you know where I, I broke the deck um, there's just things that you need to you need to consider you need to start thinking about the cable the operator presence cable breaking I mean what's going on with that you know uh, but again I put three or four years of use on that handle um, in two weeks so things like that matter so that's something to think about I'm done I'm chill I'm relaxing I'm going home uh, the zero turn the four mix weed eater the combi edger the um, hedge trimmer uh, all work like a champ and uh, I'm done I'm done with my week we're done with the series and so what I'm gonna do is go home now put this up put this video up just close out the series and like I said I'm unplugging so I will be chill <laughs> the next uh, the next few days here and then we are gonna pick this up Monday morning uh, with the new series a guy in his zero 
and uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the equipment we're going to be using for this series. So that's what we're going to start with Monday. So Monday we're going to start off right off the bat. What commercial line equipment am I using? And compare it to the uh, residential line of equipment that I was using uh, off Home Depot. And just, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, wherever I bought it. And um, we'll just take it from there. And then we're going to head out and uh, we'll do some comparison. So I got it all worked up in my head. I don't do scripts. I don't do anything like that. So it's a daily vlog. Uh, life happens. I'll video it and edit it and try to make it compelling Monday night. So guys, thank you very much. As always, I really, really appreciate you guys. Please check all the links down there below. Um, I got the headset. The Bluetooth headset that I use is linked down there. I have my cameras. The camera that I'm looking at right now, the Sony uh, point and shoot that I'm using is on there. My Sony action cam is on there, which is awesome, comes with a waterproof case. It's a great little camera and it rivals the GoPro. Go ahead, click on them links or whatever. Check it all out. And hey, if you're not a Amazon Prime member, then you know, you're paying for shipping. But if you become a Prime member, I think it's like 60 bucks. I'm a Prime member. I think for like 60 bucks you get second day shipping uh, free on all your orders. So you start ordering your stuff, you know, you start ordering stuff in bulk, you don't even have to go to the store anymore. You don't have to pay shipping and you don't have to pay tax. So it's just another way, you know, of saving money. Um, free shipping and no tax. So you'll make your $60 back like that for the Prime membership. Plus you get all those free TV channels that you can watch with Amazon Prime. I don't know if you if you are into that or not, but uh, with the amount of people that are unplugging their cable and satellite and just going to internet for entertainment, um, something to think about. So click on one of them links, check things out, and you'll see the little become a Prime member and uh, do it, all right? So I'll see you guys tomorrow.